so today I decided to make a video where I'm going to talk about tortoise care. Depending on the subspecies, Greek tortoises will grow between 5 and 8 inches. Some may reach 10 or 12 inches, but this is rare. As hatchlings, most Greek tortoises are no more than an inch in length. They can grow rapidly when overfed and reports of them reaching 4 inches in less than 2 years is common, but not recommended. Greek tortoise subspecies are known to be some of the longest lived of the tortoises. Reports suggest well into the 100s. In the wild, many do not live past the age of 20 due to the predation and other factors. When kept safe and under optimum conditions, Greek tortoises thrive and can live to a ripe old age. Some have even outlived their keepers. Housing Greek tortoises outdoors in a naturalistic pen is always best. During the warmer part of the year, they can be kept in spacious enclosures that are well planted with edible vegetation and receive plenty of time in natural full sun. Indoors, the construction of a tortoise table will suit the needs of Greek tortoises well. A 3 by 6 foot unit made of plywood will suffice for a single adult and up to a pair of adults. Wood is always recommended over plastic or glass so that the tortoises cannot see through their enclosure's walls. This way, they will learn their boundaries and it will lessen their attempts to escape. As always, natural sunlight should be utilized whenever possible and the tortoises fully benefit in many ways from being exposed to it. When housing them inside, proper lighting is essential for keeping them healthy. Many options are available such as daylight spot bulbs, infrared bulbs and fluorescent tube lighting. You can use a regular incandescent spotlight for the basking area so as long as it reaches a temperature of 95 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. In this case, a fluorescent UVB emitting bulb will need to be installed as well. The ambient room temperature where your indoor tortoise enclosure is located should remain between 25 and 85 degrees. When raising hatchlings, a humidity level between 65 and 70 percent is appropriate. This can be achieved by spraying down the enclosure every other day with warm water. The water dish in combination with the substrate that retains the humidity will do the trick as well. By keeping baby Greek tortoises well hydrated and, and added a sufficient humidity level, they will grow th smoothly and retain a good weight. The three best substrates for housing Greek tortoises indoors are cypress mulch, aspen shavings or a 50-50 mix of topsoil and play sand. When using aspen, it is very important to make sure that the tortoises stay hydrated because it tends to be very dry. Rabbit pellets are okay, but they do not retain humidity well and will mold quickly. Cedar and pine beddings absolutely must be avoided as they are toxic to tortoises. Greek tortoises spend much of their time grazing on edible landscape. For this reason, it is an excellent and healthy idea to offer weeds, such as dandelion, clover, plantain, hawksbit, cat's ear, and wild strawberry. When these items are not available, they can be replaced by dried up bagged organic herbs. These can be found online. Store-bought greens such as collard, mustard, kale, and turnip can be offered sparingly. Commercial diets such as Missouri tortoise diet are excellent for, for helping Greek tortoises to maintain good weight, but again should be offered only in moderation. Calcium supplements in the form of cuddle bone are wonderful additions to their diet. The tortoises will gladly nibble on them. Many Greek tortoises originate from extremely arid habitats, while others are found in more temperate locations. Regardless of their origin, all Greek tortoises need to stay hydrated. A shallow water dish should be available at all times for drinking and soaking. 
and it should be changed frequently. Tortoises defecate in their water, so keeping the supply clean is a must. Greek tortoises also appreciate an occasional missing of their envir environment, which prompts them to empty their bowels and drink. You should also soak them weekly to make sure that they are getting the water that they need. Similar to most tur turtles and tortoises, Greek tortoises do not like to be held. They should be picked up only when absolutely necessary, such as prior to being soaked, cleaning of the enclosure and health checks. While they tend to become very responsive to their keepers and will approach for food, they should not be overhandled by any means. Greek tortoises are easygoing, friendly and interactive, but like all reptiles, they should never be overly stressed. This is all I have for you guys today, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to talk more in depth about any of the topics in this video, just request at in the comments down below and I'll make sure to do that. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>